shit, folks, that was a lot of fun. This is one of the best running riding choppers I've ever ridden. This is what motorcycles were about in the 60s and 70s. Stripped down, bare bones, brass knuckle, bar to bar, fist fighting, badass American choppers. Ha, ah, how do you like that? What a cool piece, man. Everywhere I went in this thing, hey, people are giving me thumbs up and it is such a badass ride. You know, it's a hardtail, but uh, we're running low pressure in the rear tire, like 20 pounds. It rides like a, a really nice and it takes off like a rocket ship. Listen, Johnny Moore, Fat City, City Customs, the number one premier chopper builder in the history of Connecticut. Nobody, nobody built more or better choppers than Johnny. This was his personal bike in his collection in his showroom that he just closed down last month due to medical issues with himself. He was going to leave the shop to his son. It's sad to say his son passed away before he hit, he did. And uh, Johnny got sick and uh, needs to sell the bikes for hospital bills. So this, another black chopper, and then the doctor's chopper that we just sold last week, a whole truckload of choppers and a 59 pan. Um, when Johnny built this, this was a, a, a flag, like a flagship demo model of what he could do. Everything's custom on this bike. Custom rims, custom extended Springer front end, custom bullet headlight, chrome springs, chrome bars, disc front brake, chrome front caliper, Avon front tire on a uh, powder coated gray mag wheel that looks sick with, with the uh, orange paint job. The motor's a RevTech 88. It's a 1450cc fire breathing dragon. It's, it's a uh, pan evo is what they call us the head looks like a pan head so the profile of the bike when you pull up, pull up at a stoplight looks like a pan head but it's late technology modern technology belt drive electronic ignition high compression pistons long lift cam huge huge dual exhaust two into two two and a half inch open head pipes just sounds awesome man what a cool piece custom leather saddle with suede in the middle kick-ass candy color paint job Paint job alone on this bike in the frame is probably 2,500 bucks. And um, the rear wheel's got a giant rear uh, Cobra, rear tire. It's even got the logo on the side. Look at the Cobra logo, Avon Cobra. Top shelf everything, top shelf brakes. Uh, everything's new on the bike. This is a brand new bike, never been registered. And uh, it's straight up badass. Uh, we, we got the bike into the shop. Johnny's been sick for a while and it had been sitting in a shop for a couple years so we went right through it top to bottom i have the work order we did about 1500 dollars for the work to the bike uh, let me go through that now so although it's never been registered we do have a clear connecticut title with the bike so i'll pass the mic back to see um, the first thing we did is drain the tank because it had the uh pump gas in it drained and rinsed out the tank cleaned cleaned the um carb took the carburetor off cleaned it in our ultrasonic tank to clean any of the uh, jets and uh Totally uh, rebuilt the carburetor, reinstalled it. All the engine fluids were changed. Front and rear brake system uh, was flushed and bled and new brake fluid was put in there. Not because it was worn out, but it's a good thing to do that every couple of years. And this was in Johnny's showroom. So it's all new fluids front to back. Um, the battery, brand new battery was installed because the original battery uh, needed to be replaced and it has a new battery tender on it. So uh, the drive belt was adjusted. We did a complete nut and bolt check over top to bottom. Uh, so it's got brand new brake fluids, all fluids, and new battery. Everything else on the bike is brand new. The bike's got very few, if any, demo miles on it. So um, went through the detail shop, was steam cleaned, hand polished. The engine, exhaust, bars, and controls, and all the chrome was polished on the bike. The fuel tank and the fenders were professionally buffed and waxed. A uh, light touch-up was done on the engine bolts, on the black on the engine, and um, the bike was given a complete, what we call a rotisserie detail, top to bottom. You could eat off the bike. So 14 hours labor plus parts. The work order came up to $1,450 uh, on essentially a new motorcycle. Uh, just fine-tuning everything and getting it ready for the road. Uh, tire pressures were checked, nut and bolt checked. Just a stunning piece, man. The bike piece speaks for itself. The pictures, the sound. Is the sound of this thing amazing? I went by the detail shop. All you heard uh, would have heard there was wrenches dropping because every guy in, in the in the service department, the detail shop was outside taking videos of me riding this thing by. So hey, if you want to fly under the radar, don't buy this bike. If you're looking at something that's a hell of a lot of fun, an absolute hoot to ride, is going to need little to no maintenance because it's all new components. Yet it looks like it came right out of the Easy Rider Choppers movies 50 years ago. This is your bike, you know. These bikes, Johnny was building these bikes. If you custom built a bike like this, it was easy to drop 30, 40, $50,000 on a bike. 
like the Orange County Chopper bikes, you know, custom choppers are big dollar bikes. The values have gone way down to the state to the state of the market, and uh, you know, you can get an awesome deal on this bike. You can buy this bike for a fraction of what it would cost you to build it. The motor alone, the motor and training would cost you seven grand. Then you've got the paint job, the frame, the wheels, all the labor, um, wiring. Uh, it all adds up to a whole fat stack of cash, and uh, you can buy this for a, a half of a stack of cash. So um, low reserve on it. Johnny needs some money uh, for his business. So in any event, hope you enjoyed watching me ride it as much as I enjoyed riding it. If you have any questions, give us a call at 860-454-7024. Thanks for watching. Junior, is there anything you'd like to add? All right. Thanks for watching, folks. Just had a hoot of a time riding this thing. And uh, I'm going to park it in the museum. It'll be on display this weekend. It's the auction starts Saturday morning. Bid, bid high, bid often, and bring this badass ride home. It's Kaplan America approved. Thanks for watching, and God bless America.